There seems to be lots of clickbait lately surrounding people refunding their Fortnite accounts as a result of the Epic Games and FTC situation concluding where the parent company of Fortnite have been forced to pay out a total of $245 million to the victims that fall under some very specific eligibility requirements, which I'll explain very soon in this video. But with the clickbait circulating, where some are even claiming if you go into the Fortnite settings themselves, go under account and then refunds, you can actually claim V-Bucks in this section right here but this is completely false the only thing you can do in here is refund items this has nothing to do with the epic games and ftc lawsuit so this means that this method right here and many other videos claiming to have a method are all completely false and are indeed clickbait which brings me to make this video today on how to actually refund your fortnite account starting off with the most important thing you actually can't refund your entire fortnite account the only way you can get a refund is if you are an eligible victim of this epic games and FTC lawsuit which the FTC state if you are one of these free groups that's the first one parents whose children made an unauthorized credit card purchase in the Epic Games store between January 2017 and November 2018 you're eligible for a refund two Fortnite players who would charge in-game currency V bucks for unwanted items such as cosmetics llamas or battle passes between January 2017 and September 22 you're eligible for a refund and then three Fortnite players whose accounts were locked between January 2017 and September 22 22 after disputing unauthorized charges with their credit card companies you are also eligible for a refund so overall if you fall under any of these three groups right here and most importantly are a resident of the US as if you didn't know already the FTC is an independent agency of the United States government who plan to use this settlement money to provide refunds to Fortnite gamers in the US and that's specifically just the US who were affected by Epic Games billing and refund practices you will get a refund at some point but just not right now now, as the FTC state that if you believe you are eligible for a payment, you don't need to do anything right now. When we have more information about the refund program, we will post updates here, which I'll leave a link to this page in the description below, and we'll also send email notices to customers who paid for in-game purchases. They also say that the FTC never asks you to pay to file a claim or get a refund. Don't pay anyone who promises you an FTC refund in exchange for a fee. But there you have it guys, that's how you actually get a refund. While you wait for more information, information from the FTC so for them to update this page right here what I highly recommend you all do right now is to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click this button here which will sign you up to email updates if you do go ahead and put your email in this means that as soon as you do get an update which I'm hoping is soon it'll go directly to your email and you'll not have to search videos like this one to find out exactly what's going on that's all I've got for now really hope that this video helped you guys understand the entire situation a bit more as I know it can be a bit confusing with all the clickbait that out there if it did please drop a like on this video and subscribe for more as soon as we hear more about the epic games and ftc lawsuit situation i'll be sure to make another video for all of you so be on the lookout for that